And in global news today, the annual GDI Energy Summit is still underway aboard the space station Philadelphia. Our own Cassandra Blair reports on the landmark goals set for this year's summit. When top administrators return to work here tomorrow, they're hoping for a new fiscal agenda. According to Director Kinsberg, one of the key talking points for this year's summit is shifting resource allocation from defense to ecology, where the eradication of Tiberium is now viewed as a more pressing concern than the containment of... Excuse, excuse the interruption, but we're getting breaking news on the Philadelphia. Apparently, just moments ago, there was an accident. That's obviously something has gone terribly wrong. We're going to do our best to confirm what we're all seeing, but this time, we have no idea what possibly could have caused a tragedy this magnitude. We're going to go live now to Cassandra Blair back outside the Northeastern Admin Building. Cassandra. William, William, I don't know if you can hear me, but it's incredible. There's so much smoke, you can't see more than 10 meters, and there's debris falling all over the city. Ah! Unbelievable. The destruction of the Philadelphia was not an accident. It was a merciful bullet to the head of a malignant ideology. It was the death of fear and the birth of hope. Rejoice! Children of Nod, the blood of your oppressors will flow, and 50 years of tyranny will finally end. Transformation is coming. A new day will dawn. The future is ours. Unbelievable. Hold on. We're getting breaking news now from our Northwestern affiliate. And they just came out of nowhere. No warning, nothing. Bombs started dropping. And from what we can tell, there is no sign of GDI retaliation at all. It's just a massacre. Commander, all hell's broken loose. Nod's launched preemptive strikes in every major blue zone across the board. Most of our troops are pinned down. Our ASAT defense system is still offline, and I have no goddamn idea who's running the show at GDI. This is no time to stand on protocol. The entire northeastern seaboard's been overrun, and we're taking the worst of it right here in D.C. General, they're starting evac procedures. You go ahead, Sandra. Sir, you can't wait here. That is an order, Sandra. Sir. Kiersey James and theater ops will bring you up to speed. It's all on you now, Commander. I need you to take back this city. Commander, here's the latest. Nod forces are going in for the kill, closing in on the Pentagon. As you know, there is no more vital structure in the region. It is the center of our command and control network. If we lose the Pentagon, it could be the beginning of the end. You cannot let this happen. Hello, everyone. My name is Tal Fana Flippy, and welcome back to Command and Conquer Twitter by our young wars. So, yeah. It turns out uh, that no, that uh, the Brotherhood of Nord is uh, attacking uh, Washington DC, and uh, yeah, and uh, this one we're gonna protect uh, the Pentagon. Captain Hunter, no! Incoming transmission. Already. The Pentagon's defenses are without power. Restore power by capturing the power plants with engineers. Oh, sure Keep thing. Your weapon ready. Intelligence data updated. I'll see you there. Yeah, and this is the Pentagon. It's a, like it's an important structure in the USA or in America. I think it. I think this one is. I think, well, I. It should be in Washington. Like. Yeah, I think this is in Washington. But I know the next couple of missions will will be taking place in Washington D.C. But um, yeah. And 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 Nord is attacking uh, really hard and uh, is yeah Nord is striking really hard uh, right now. Our base is under oh my God! They destroyed the turret. Unit under attack. Objective complete. That power will buy the Pentagon some time. 
Incoming transmission. Take control of the Pentagon with an engineer to restore command and control systems. A uh, sure thing. Enemy and yeah, this building is like a main command hub or something. I don't really know what uh, the Pentagon really does, but I know it's an important structure in uh, USA. Our base is under attack. But damn, not a chewing up these turrets. I can figure it out. Oh, I can use my engineer to Solid. repair it, but that's not necessar necessary. Structure repaired. Establishing video uplink. Nice work, Commander. The radar is back online. Just in the nick of time, too, I'm seeing massive troop movements coming from the west. I'm sending you the coordinates. God damn it. Nod has destroyed the power plants. The defense systems are offline. You're gonna have to defend the Pentagon the hard way. So, yeah. Uh, for some reason, the uh, voice isn't playing, but oh well. Now we have to defend the Pentagon for a little while and get against uh, the North Infantry Wave. Commander, infantry such as the Riflemen and Rocket Squads can hold down an area more effectively by garrisoning a nearby building. Give your troops a move order into an empty building to garrison the building. Yeah, this is going uh, to take. This this is going to take. Uh, I think for a few minutes. But uh, not just constantly dropping uh, infantry uh, that are uh, trying to attack the Pentagon, but. Defending it is really easy. You, all you have to do is put your infantry into these watchtowers and the rest will happen automatically, basically. But yeah, I don't get to build a base in this mission, but this is not a hard mission at all. But this is a pretty cool, it, it is a pretty cool mission. And there are the APCs. Oh, that, was, that went pretty quickly though. Yeah, no props. And this is the APCs, which can, which is, which is an anti-infantry vehicle, but it can also like uh, These put APCs infantry. These APCs are transports. They can carry units inside them. You can load and unload troops just like a garrison building by giving a move order into them to load the troops, or by clicking the drop-off button and then targeting the ground where you want to unload the troops. Also, like garrison buildings, most units can fire from inside the transport. Yeah, basically what she told, so you can put infantry into this and they can fire out of it. And we have the grenade. And we have a new unit. GDI grenadiers excel at clearing enemy garrison structures. Give your grenadiers an attack order on an enemy structure to clear the bad guys out of the building. Yeah, those were the, those are grenadiers, grenadiers, and you can use them to uh, like. Mm. Just let me talk, game for fuck's sake. Ensure Nod cannot regroup for another attack on the Pentagon by destroying this forward headquarters. Yeah, I will do that. But first, I gotta do some things first. But oh well. But like I said, you. But like I said, um, you can uh, use. Objective. Shut up, game. Um, but like I said, uh, you can this can be used to uh, clear up gears and buildings like these ones over here. And they are also anti infantry They are pretty decent against buildings, but they are deadly. For, uh, they are, but they are really deadly against the other infantry. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna like uh, move past the, past those buildings and the, and yeah, like you can see, boom, there goes uh, the there goes the building, there goes another one. And I'm just driving by. I'm not even ordering them to attack because they do that automatically in this game. Which is nice. So you can't you can just uh, drive by uh, like this. Nice. Oh, more of them. Hang on, Commander. Let's see, you almost dead. You can uh, get on half crate. I f yeah, I know this is a half crate. APC standing by. Like some these crates can contain like money, health, or a ranking. Commander. APC, what's the plan? Ready when you are. There we Hang go. On. Let's do a tech move up there. And here's the ba here's a little base I'm going to destroy later. A little bit later. Like you guys you can see they are pretty decent against uh, buildings. Enemy 
Yeah, no damage is gonna get uh, chewed up by those uh, APCs. We have contact, sir. We're coming. Nice. Hang on. I think that's a uh, health and rank or something. We're coming. Yep. Committed. Hang on. Yeah, units rank up in this game uh, if they do like if they get a certain amount of kills or something, or they kill big things. Commander. And they can uh, rank up three times. And if they uh, hit max rank, uh, they do a lot of damage and uh, APC, they have. And they have increased uh, firepower, and they also regenerate health. Okay, but uh, let's go up this uh, final part of this mission. We're coming. Park it there. In transit. Park it let's there. just uh, let's just drive by these buildings. Target confirmed. And let's do an attack move. Oh my god, these bikes are a little bit deadly to other vehicles, but my uh, APs can handle them with ease. We have contact, sir. Stand by for assault. Let's make this quick. Park it there. We're yeah, that's nice. I think I got some heroic infantry in though, as uh, one of those APCs. That's nice. That's nice. Nice. That's this mission done. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Good work, Commander. You secured the Pentagon. Unfortunately, the whole region is still in danger. We have multiple hotspots up and down the coast. If you retake Langley Air Force Base, you'll have air support for all the remaining battles. Or you can go after Hampton Roads. Nod's landing troops there, retaking that base cuts off Nod's supply lines, reducing their ability to reinforce and gaining you access to APCs. With those two assets secure, you can focus on the rest of DC. So yeah, uh, that's the second mission done. All objectives, all secondary, and all intel. Nice. Yeah, and between e from now on, between each mission, you get this uh, map, and you can like choose missions. And this time, you can likely choose it between two missions. But that's for uh, that's for the next uh, episode. So yeah, until then, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.